Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalosirtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making a delicious Turkish recipe that's shared and made throughout Greece. We're going to be making lamb kebabs yaurtlu. Yaurtlu is basically a yogurt sauce that's served with this, but there's also yogurt in these kebabs. They are so flavorful, delicious, they freeze well, so I suggest making extra. Let's get started. So we're going to start off with two pounds of ground lamb that has 20% fat in it. Now traditionally this is made with either the ground lamb or half lamb and half beef. You can use whichever combination you like. The lamb is going to be really lamb tasting, if you know what I mean, if you've ever had lamb. If you want a little milder kebab, add the beef. So do one pound of lamb and one pound of beef and make sure that the beef has plenty of fat in there. It should have 20% fat so that way they're nice and juicy. Go ahead and add the lamb to a bowl. Then I'm going to add one onion. I'm using a red onion, but you could use a regular yellow onion. Go ahead and add it to a food processor and finally chop it. Then go ahead and add the onion to the big bowl. Next, we're going to add some parsley to the food processor and chop that up until it's really finely chopped. And then add the finely chopped parsley to the bowl as well. Next, we're going to add four garlic cloves that have been grated, a quarter cup of yogurt. I'm using plain Greek yogurt, two teaspoons of salt, black pepper, two teaspoons of ground cumin powder, one teaspoon of ground coriander, a little bit more, a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. If you don't like the heat from them, you could put less or just leave them out. And two teaspoons of sweet paprika. Now what's missing from this is two roasted red peppers from the jar. Those are really good to add in here. I'm completely out of them, so I'm gonna leave it out. And also fenugreek is a traditional ingredient that's added to this to really give it that nice flavor. You would add two teaspoons of dried fenugreek if you have it. I'm out of that too, so I'm just gonna leave it. It's still gonna be delicious. At this point, you just wanna mix it really well. If you're gonna be putting it on the flat skewers like they do in the restaurants, a good idea is to transfer this to the mixing bowl of your KitchenAid mixer or a stand mixer that you have and knead it really well for about four or five minutes until it almost turns into like a paste. That's gonna help the meat stick to the skewers, but since I'm not gonna be using skewers, I'm just gonna mix this really well with my hands. Now this makes 16 medium-sized kebabs, or you can make eight really big kebabs. So go ahead and try to divide the dough into 16 pieces if you can. Otherwise, you're gonna take up about a handful the size of smaller than a tennis ball, but bigger than a golf ball. This is what you're looking for. Go ahead and roll those up into kebab shapes. And if, if they're starting to become really sticky and sticking to your hands, or if you're using gloves, a trick is to drizzle some olive oil onto your hands, and that's really gonna take away the stickiness right away. Go ahead and form the kebabs and set them on the side. If you want these to have a lot, a lot of flavor, you can let the mixture marinate or sit like this in the refrigerator overnight or for an hour, but trust me, there's so much flavor in this. Even if you make them right away, they'll be perfectly fine. But I like to make the kebabs, set them aside, and then I'm gonna make the salad and the yogurt sauce. So for the yogurt sauce, you're gonna need one garlic clove that's been grated, one cup of Greek yogurt. If you want your sauce to be a little bit thinner, you can use plain yogurt instead and the juice of half a lemon. Season it with some salt and pepper and just mix that all together. And then I like to top it with sumac. Sumac is a delicious herb that's tangy and a little bit lemony. Sprinkle that on top and the yogurt sauce is done. Next, I have some grape tomatoes that I'm just gonna cut in half and put in a bowl. Thinly slice the red onion and put it in the bowl and add the juice of half a lemon. If you prefer white vinegar, you could put white vinegar on it. You can drizzle some olive oil on top and then season with salt and a little pinch of dried mint. It's really gonna wake everything up and make it nice and fresh and aromatic. Mix that salad all together and now it's time to cook the kebabs. Now you can cook these in so many different ways. I'm gonna be pan frying them in my cast iron pan, but you can, you can definitely cook these over the grill, which is highly recommended, or even in an air fryer. Anything, all of those will work. I'm just gonna heat up a little bit of oil in my cast iron pan over medium heat, and I'm gonna cook them in a few batches, flipping them over every two minutes until they're nice and golden and fully cooked. Then I'm just gonna transfer them into my platter and they're ready to be served. Now, I like to serve these over pita bread. I have these small pita breads that I've toasted in the oven, I like to put a little bit of the yogurt sauce on top, or a lot, <laughs> I like a lot of the yogurt sauce. Then the salad, and then top it off with the kebabs. Now traditionally, you also drizzle some of the yogurt on top of the kebabs, but this yogurt is a little bit on the thicker side, so there's enough on the bottom to just enjoy this as is. It is time for the taste test. 
and just look at how juicy the kebabs are. Mm. So flavorful. A little bit spicy because of their crushed red pepper flakes. I wish I had the roasted red peppers. Those would have made this even more juicy, flavorful, moist, delicious. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The exact measurements are on the website, DimitrosDishes.com. If you have any more recipe requests, please post them down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.